Welcome to Explore Embedded. In this tutorial, we will interface a switch to 8051. So, uh, switches come in various types and forms. Uh, so, we have tactile switches and we have a, a switch in a dual line package. So, it's called the dip switch and various other types of switches. So, in this tutorial, we will interface a dip switch with the 8051 microcontroller. Now, if you have seen the logic symbol for a switch, it would be something like this. So, whenever we press the switch, the current flows through it and whenever we release it or whenever we turn it off uh, it just turns off so this is a basic switch now uh, in order to interface it to a microcontroller uh, so say 8051 so I say this is a microcontroller pin so say this is P 3.0 zero or any other port for that matter now uh, say if we tie this to ground now whenever we press a switch uh, the, the the pin grounds and we have a logical zero but uh, in order to have a logical one what we do is we connect it through a pull-up resistor to the pin so, so this is uh, R so, and if this is VCC whenever and the switch is open the VCC flows in and this is one and whenever we press the switch it, it goes to ground so uh, this is um, uh, you what you can say is inverted whenever the switch is turned on uh, the current the switch is turned on and the pin grounds and we have zero and whenever the switch is turned off we have one and this pull up resistor is very important because if we do not put this resistor the pin will either be uh, ground or it would float so uh, this is the pull up resistor usually uh, we have a pull up resistor of 10 kilo ohms now uh, instead of uh, interfacing a single switch what we do is we go ahead and uh, interface a bunch of switches so uh, these come in dip packages so you have one two three and four switches on this likewise uh, we get uh, it has a two pin dip switch or two switches dip package or four switch dip package or eight switch dip package so in this tutorial we'll interface eight dip switches to one one port of the microcontroller and then we'll uh, connect eight leds to one more port so what we do is uh, so so this is say our microcontroller we connect eight switches to one of its ports and eight leds to the other port so let's just go ahead and see the schematic of this now what you could see here is again the basic circuit remains same oscillator we have oscillator we have a reset circuit and then what you would see here is this is a eight uh, switches dip package and it is pulled through a pull-up resistor so you can see that pin one goes to the VCC so uh, so the, the pull-up resistor pulls up all the eight uh, switches in this package and these are connected to port 3 and the LEDs uh, for the output these are connected to port 2 now what you do is all right so the switch is pulled to VCC uh, with this particular uh, pin pin 1 so uh, what you have in a this is called a register array or uh, it's also called a register SIP single line line package so what you have is um, you have uh, a bunch of resistors so uh, it will have about eight resistors so we have eight in this package so now 
Uh, let me just draw this. So, uh, the pin one of the package. This is the pin one. This is connected to VCC, and these pins, uh, these pins, are connected to the input of switches. So we have R1, R2. Like we, ha likewise, we have eight resistors in this package. So, uh, so the switches are pulled up uh, by the resistor array and then these are connected to port 3 of the microcontroller so and the output is connected I mean the LEDs are connected to port 2 now uh, one simple uh, program would be to read the switches and display them continuously on the LEDs so if the if the first switch is turned on uh, so and the input would be this on port 3 and we have to glow the LED uh, D1 so uh, so this is a pretty simple program so let's just go ahead and have a look so this is the this is a program it's a pretty simple program so uh, register 51.h it includes the header file for 8051 now we define uh, switches as port 3 because that's where they are connected and then we uh, define LEDs as port 2 uh, and uh, what what we do is uh, we take the switch input in a variable so we use char because it's 8 bit and then uh, we make switches as 0x uh, ff so this makes configures all the switches now after that it's a pretty simple program we read the switches to this variable switch input and then we display the switch input on the LEDs which are connected to port 2 so it's a pretty simple program so uh, to improvise on that what you could do is uh, you could do a bunch of logical operations now uh, say this is our entire switch and uh, port 3.7 and port 3.6 so the switch is connected to port uh, 3.7 7 and 6 let us say the define operation uh, or in fact we could say that we are making a small uh, arithmetic logic unit which uh, does basically a logic unit that does uh, these logical operations now when the switch uh, is on 3.7 and 6 is 0 0 uh, it does and then uh, similarly 0 1 does R XR and the last operation is to invert now the inputs the two input uh, inputs on which these operations need to be done are from port 3.5 uh, to port 3.3 this, this is 3 bit input and there is another 3 bit input which is here now what you could learn from this example is how do you split uh, data so this entire port is 8 bit so what we need to do is we need to split it into operation and then all right so what you could learn from this uh, particular operation is uh, so you can uh, know how to split bytes and know how to do this uh, logical operations so we have this 8 bit uh, port so we need to split it into three groups so one is the operation second is the group a and third is the group b now to split the operation what we need to do is we need to move these two bytes to the uh, so say this is d0 d1 d2 d3 d4 d5 d6 and d7 so in order to do any kind of operation we need uh, these two bits to be here so to do that what we uh, simply do is we uh, shift right shift the port by one two three four five and six times so what happens after that is we will have uh, uh, the port 3.7 and 6 in uh, these positions now once we have this what we can do is we can add them with 0x 0, 0 3 now what that does is uh, so what this AND operation does is 
it it makes the entire uh, you know, port zero or the variable in which we have read it it makes the entire thing zero and whatever the switch status is so it could be zero 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 one or one zero or not only these bytes remain and rest all by um, bits uh, will become zero so this is how we separate the operation similarly uh, to get group a we right shift by three and then we end with zero x uh, we need uh, three bits now so we end with um, seven so so seven would be so this is so this is seven in hex so we end with seven and in the last case there is no need to shift so you can directly end it with uh, zero seven so and once we do that we'll use a switch case and depending on what the operation it is if it is zero zero we'll do a and we'll do a r xor and invert now uh, the symbol for and uh, operation bitwise and is this uh, bitwise r is this xor is this and uh, to to do an invert uh, let me just check so to do an invert uh, the operation is to tilt sign so let's just go ahead and look at all right so uh, this is the code so as you have seen before the register 51.h it includes uh, the 8051 uh, register definition or port definitions so uh, we have taken switches as port 3 leds as port 2 as in previous examples we have uh, defined uh, four sort of uh, unsigned character variables so in uh, in 8051c uh, we use variables most of the time as unsigned char because it just takes eight bits or a byte and it saves a lot of memory so uh, we have four of them operation group a group b and the result so now as explained earlier so to get the operation what we do is uh, we take the switches shift them by six and then and with three so that gets uh, so the operation and uh, we get uh, group a by shifting uh, switches by three times and ending with seven and then uh, group b we just handed by seven and now we use a switch case operation here or switch case uh, statement so here what happens is depending on the operations now, now say the operation is zero zero if the operation is zero what it will do is uh, the result will be and of group a and and of group b so similarly you do a r a xr and an inward uh, on the uh, invert on the group a basically so we do all these four operations and we take the result and show it on the leds so it is a little tiny uh, logical uh, calculator that you can do with LEDs and switches. Thank you for watching.